Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another video for you of what's in my bag and a review. I've been carrying this bag for about, oh, I want to say like a little over a week and I really don't want to change out of this bag. I'm probably obsessed with this bag. This bag is incredible. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies are kicking my bum today. And we're under a tornado watch, so I have no lighting in my house. <laughs> so this is the best that I could do. Um, regardless, let's get on with the bag video. So this is my new Valentina, um, what does it say? Valentina, I can't even say that, Tramzione Italiana. But this is gold hardware, gold zipper with the Valentina hardware. Um, all of the zippers have this uh, Valentina on it. The zippers are like freaking butter. I'm not even kidding. They're insanely delicious the leather is breaking in really well i'm actually really breaking in this leather like i said i've been carrying it it's actually probably been almost a week and a half um i love the contrasting color of the strap with this so here's the strap this is how um i've been carrying it oh i have a little bit of fraying right here, real life. But I mean, I can just probably just burn that and tap it down and it'll be fine. Oh, look, I have a wonderful pen, ink pen. I was doing some meal planning this morning. So it's like a slouchy hobo style and you have adjustable strap that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. And you have, you can take this off here and then you have the back of the bag. You have another gold zipper here. And the bottom is this dark brown that matches the leather on the straps. And then you have a little bit of a contrast with the darker um, fabrication on the zipper, which I love. Um, I just have attached here. So you have three external pockets and then you have your main pocket right here with the hobo. Um, but the best thing about this bag is you pull the straps. I'm going to show you here. You pull each strap. Well, I can do it with both hands at one time, but you pull each strap and you convertible, make it go from a shoulder bag to a backpack. So like... Do you see, let me see back up here, how it converts into a backpack. I am obsessed and it's loud with the hardware, but I don't mind that. I kind of like a little bit of noise with my, with my bags. Um, and then I just have my pocket back, my fall squirrel pocket back here. And um, yeah, so, let me get into this and show you guys how I have it packed up. So, in the front of the bag here, in this very front part, like I said, it's buttery smooth. This zipper is insanely smooth. And the interior is this like lighter khaki color, which is fantastic. So in this pocket, I have my little earbuds. I have a um, aquifer chapstick. I have my keys on this. Um, this is a Dooney and Burke key ring or key wristlet strap. Um, the Altoids Arctic. I can't stand Altoids, but these are the strawberry ones and they're not strong. Like I literally kind of can't breathe when I have the regular Altoids. I know I'm a baby, but um, I just don't do well with those. So I like the strawberry ones. They're great. Forehead stick and the Nivea hand cream. 
I really like this. I've been having some really busted up hands lately, but this is a, a pretty generous pocket. I mean, it's a great pocket for, uh, it's a great pocket um, for easy access to all those like little quick things you wanna grab on the way. So in this pocket, I have my Margot New York and the color is like spot on. I don't know why it's pulling more purple undertones on this one, but in person, these are exactly the same color. So the smooth leather and then you have the pebbled leather. But this is my Margot and it has a crease in here and I love it. Um, Margot New York and it just has a slot back here, all my extra cards here, a little slip pocket right here for coins, another pocket on the front and it snaps closed and it's kind of like accordion style. And then on the back, I just keep my debit card. So super cute, compact. And then, um, yeah, lots of receipts and a piece of gum. And this pocket goes, I mean, it's generous pocket. It goes all the way. It's from this, it goes to right here on either side. Yeah. What is that? Oh, a penny. I'll keep it in there. Um, and then on the back of the bag here is where I keep my phone. I'm recording on my phone right now, but I keep my phone in there and then dirty masks in this little plastic Dollar Tree bag. And then that's it. And this goes from side to side. Yeah, it goes from both sides of the bag. And you can see it has like a little bit of a rounded detail and then it does not go, it's stitched up at the top right here. So you have this full length to do what you wish with that. So flipping it back around, I'm gonna show you how I have it packed up. And I literally have just got back from the store. Um, I ran out, that's why I have like a million receipts. I was doing my errands this morning. So this is like legitimately how I pack it and run around. And this is what it looks like on the inside. In the inside, you have one zip, oops, one zipper pocket here, and then you have two slip pockets on each side. And I actually have it organized. Let me go ahead and pull it out. I have it organized with a purse organizer. Um, just because I really love this bag, so I don't want to ruin it, ruin the inside. So let me show you the inside of the bag and then it's really slouchy now. <laughs> like this is a slouchy bag, guys. So inside on the back wall here, you have the Valentina Genuine leather made in Italy, little nameplate with in the darker leather. You have a leather trimmed zipper pocket right here. Let's see if I can get this out of the way with the metal hardware. And then in here, I just have my checkbook cover. I have some feminine products. And then I have the, oh, the card case here. I pay, it's MSRPs for $30 and I paid $9.99 for the, um, for the uh, all leather wallet. And then this is the convertible bag backpack um, made in Italy, Valentina. It does not, it, and it had a um, little sample of the leather. It did not have a tag on it. Um, let me see if I can, It. this is the only information I can give you. And designed and made in Italy. Yeah, it doesn't have any information on it. 
Um, so there's that back pocket. It's like one big hole. And then in the bottom of the bag, I have a poppet little fidget toy because I'm a giant child. Um, this is my title. I just bought a Vespa. So that is the title to my Vespa. And then on this side, you have two leather trimmed. I mean, like, look at the trim. You have two leather trimmed pockets and these are good pockets and I have nothing in it. So I will show you how I have my bag packed. So I got this bag organizer um, because I wanted to be able to, like I said, to keep my bags clean, my bag clean on the inside. I kind of baby my bags. And I have a couple bag organizers, but I just, this one's like super wipeable. The one that I have, one of them that I have is felt and the other one, it, I don't know. It just, it doesn't work for me. And I got this on clearance for 10 bucks and it actually rang up as eight. So go check your target out. This by a new day. I'm really liking it. <laughs> so on the outside, you have four elasticized loops here. And I just have my Wet n Wild lip gloss, my Jennifer Aniston Beachscapes Rollerball Perfume, the Tide to Go pen, and then my favorite pen, which is the Sharpie S Gel. And then you have two slip pockets. And in this one, I'm just carrying um, two like almost empty packets of tissue paper and then some bug spray. And then in this one, I have some Band-Aids, like a whole lot of Band-Aids. Um, my son burnt his finger, and so I've been carrying a lot of Band-Aids. I carry um, oil absorbing sheets, a little pack of Elka Seltzer, and a girl wipe. And that I should go with my feminine stuff, so. And then on the sides, let me actually put this back in so I can show you better. Um, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place here. But like I said, we're under a tornado watch, so I don't really have any good lighting. This side is completely blank. There's nothing on that side. And on this side, there's a an attached little faux leather little tab with a hook on it. And I just have my coin purse and my little key ring that has my glasses, like it's a screwdriver for my glasses and a safety pin. And then on the back you have a snap, a, a magnetic snap. And in here I just have coupons, my money and some medical, like that's where I put my money for my medical stuff. And this is what it looks like on the inside. These are my sunglasses. Let me take those out for you. But this is how I have it packed up on the inside here. So you have, let me take the middle thing out. So this I have packed, I don't know if I have shown you guys this, but this is from the Target Dollar Spot. And it has a little wristlet strap on. I don't know if it's like a wristlet strap or what, but um, I tend to hook this on the outside of my bag. Like if I'm at Disney, or if it has like a key strap, I'll hook this to the inside on the key strap so that I can just grab this easily. But this has snaps and this side is for wipes. You just fill it right here. And in here I have the wipes and then I have paper soap. So like if I need to wash my hands and I've run out of wipes, um, I have paper soap that I can use just with my water bottle. And then in this side is all of our clean masks, which I need to refill. So there's that. And then in this one I have, it's my little fossil keeper. This is the smallest one out of my um, set of three. And in here, I just have some Orchard Valley Omega-3 mix. This is like strictly snacks for myself. Some fruit and yogurt chews. I have some drink packs. And then, oops, 
I am obsessed with these. These are the coffee and caramel. Um, they're sugar-free. They're co coffee caramel little hard candies. And like, I know that sounds ridiculous, but this is my little hangry pouch. Um, with my allergies, I'm constantly like, <clears throat> <clears throat> and so I just prefer to have a hard candy to suck on. So here we see it says a new day and this lining is so smooth. Then you have a full on zipper pouch in the back. And in here I have my medicine, an extra little almost empty, um, an extra little almost empty hand sanitizer, little pill case, some children's acetaminophen and my hairbrush. And that's all that I have in the back. And it goes the full length of the back of the little organizer. Then you have an elastic spot here, which I have nothing in. And then in this, there's three pockets on this side. And in here, I have a nail file. I have some face mist. I have a mascara. I have some triple antibiotic ointment, some nail glue, because I ripped, I don't know, you can't see it. I ripped my nail, and so I pop a little bit of glue on. Um, this LA Colors Roller Lip Gloss, because it reminds me of my childhood, and it smells like Dimatap. I know, I'm sick and twisted. Reusable silicone straw. And then I have some... L'Oreal Infallible Powder and a brush. And then in here, I just have my scissors, my uh, flashlight, my Lysol, and my deodorant. And that is what I have in my bag, my friends. So yeah, why, I want to know what are your fall essentials? I'm eager to I'm eager to find out what your guys' favorite fall essential for your bag is. Drop that in the comments. Let me know. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and definitely like this video. It lets me know, you know, what kind of content. And um, yeah, if you guys have any requests, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.